Welcome back. So here we are. We have cloned our first uh, um, s uh, research project that we want to reproduce. And um, this little project has a readme file, which is good policy. And in this readme file, um, it, it documents the steps that we need to take. Step one, we did, right? We, we did uh, clone, uh, but step two, is um, installing packages that we need. Um, and here, uh, this is not done for us automatically, but we have to decide where we want to install these packages. I also consider this to be a good policy because in the end, we are installing software on somebody's computer. So I think this is not something that you should do automatically. Instead, you should actually have the person uh, deciding. And this is why here in the readme, there is the code that uh, the user can call. And we just called this code and normally this is the perfect thing if you want somebody else to work and relax a little because this actually takes a lot of time so here i speed up the process a little bit um we are installing a bunch of packages um and, and you see here the uh, the packages being downloaded and and they are being installed so normally on a on a fast if you have a reasonably fast internet connection this can take maybe 15 to 20 minutes um, and here I, I, I speeded up the whole process up to two or three minutes. So, you know, it, don't be disappointed if it takes a little bit longer. And also uh, don't be, don't get nervous if the process um, stops or, you know, hangs, seems to hang for a while uh, in between. Normally it is very robust. It will go through eventually. Huh? So, and here, while it's doing that, I can talk a little bit about what packages actually are. So. Like many programming languages, R in itself is relatively lightweight, so it doesn't come with too many bells and whistles. whistles. So base R is a fine programming language, uh, but, but still, um, uh, if in order to do fancy stuff with it, most likely you will use uh, packages. Packages um, are um, providing functionality to R, so they can be user-written functions, uh, they can um, provide data, um, and all these packages are maintained in uh, um, public repositories. There's a bunch of different repositories, but the most important one is CRAN. Okay, so if you've seen CRAN in the first video, then we downloaded R, and here again, we are currently downloading, yeah, you see that, from CRAN, packages that, that wonderful people have um, developed for us so that we can focus on our research and don't have to write everything from scratch. So this is similar to the PIP system of Python, if you know it. And um, yeah, so uh, it's extremely powerful. And uh, one reason why these new statistical programming languages, well, new, I'm an old timer, right? So they're not in, they're not particularly new, but uh, these, uh, why these um, uh, programming languages are so um, successful and so attractive, yeah, because no matter what your interest is, basically, you will find packages that make your life much easier. So here uh, you see uh, the packages being installed now. Um, uh, you, you might wonder, how, why is this thing installing so many packages? Uh, you know, I, the code here up there only asks for, you know, maybe close to 10 packages. But, you know, here we are installing 50, 60, 70 packages. The reason for this is that packages also have dependencies. So packages tend to use packages. So uh, that means that um, you know if you install one package, then especially in the beginning when you don't have that much installed, most likely these packages will install other packages. And this is the process that you're currently seeing. So it's, it's like a little avalanche, right? So we kicked it off and now the packages install their dependencies and these dependencies are being installed. The good thing about this is you don't have to do it that often. Yeah. So normally you do it when you have a fresh R installed and then, you know, once the packages are installed, it's not that hard. So now we come to something that I really love, um, installing LaTeX. So uh, normally you would say, what? You like installing LaTeX? Uh, this is really something that is crazy. It, 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 it can be annoying, but um, here we have, um, in R, we have a wonderful um, lightweight um, um, tech installation, which we can install from within R. So remember, this is a fresh Windows install we're looking at here. And we are currently installing a very lightweight um, 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 LaTeX environment. And we don't even have to leave our studio for that. So uh, this has been developed by Yuhu, who is also, um, um, 
um, the mastermind between much of the um, of the markdown and our markdown environment, which you also will be seeing in a sec. And this is one reason why I believe R is maybe the best environment for reproducible research there is currently. So now you see um, um, the the tech package has been installed, and it's also you know it takes a, a little while. So um, but then once it's been installed, it's there to use. And you know that Tech also comes with a little um, package manager. So when we use Tech now uh, in the future, it will download all extensions that it needs automatically, which is also very convenient. Okay, ready to roll. Ready to start with the actual project building. This is the next and I think final video for this first series. Okay, see you there or hear you or whatever. Cheers, bye.